I'm just here so I don't get fined. Hey guys, so I am back and it has been a while. It has been, I think, a month or more since I posted a makeup related video on my channel. And it's not that I've been missing from my channel. I've posted a vlog video, I've posted car chats, but I haven't posted a makeup related video in quite a while. And I haven't even really touched makeup in about a month. Yeah. I went on a business trip that was a week long and then I went on vacation, it was 10 days long. And for those of you who don't know, who don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter, then you wouldn't know, but I was on vacation in Jamaica for 10 days. And listen, it was everything, it was amazing. And I did bring a lot of makeup and I didn't end up wearing most of it, if any of it at all. I literally wore waterproof mascara, sunscreen, and brow gel and that was it <laughs> like it was too hot for me to be bothered and I was just relaxing I didn't want to be bothered with applying makeup and I didn't and it was a nice break it was a nice breather for my skin my skin got to just enjoy the Sun and the fun and it was a great time and I am putting together a vlog video we did film some things it's not a huge extensive thing because again vlogging is not really my thing I am more of the live in the moment kind of person and I'm enjoying my time while I have it so I wasn't really bothered with filming even though I did end up getting some of our clips on video so we'll, I'll share that as soon as I get it edited but that is not here nor there because I am back and what is the best way to come back into the makeup world than to do a haul video. Booyah! Yes, ma'am. Yeah, this bag, lipstick is the answer. What was the question from Sephora? Yeah, I did some major haulage. And when I mean, I say major, I do mean major. Yes, I did get two of these bags and these bags are from Sephora. There are a BI perk, so if you join their rewards program, you get points for every purchase, and then you can collect those points in the form of deluxe size, like mini samples. Well, not mini samples, but deluxe size, larger samples of products. So you can get like a mini mascara or a mini face product or whatever. They have fragrances and all that. And every now and then they have like a 500 point perk or a 250 point perk which they're doing now and this was a 250 point perk so I did get two of these bags because when I got the first one I was like I really like this bag and it's a nice handy like tote bag easy um, reusable bag so I was like I'm getting two I don't care and I love that it says lipstick is the answer that's so me so I did quite a lot of damage I was even ordering things on my vacation my husband does new, but the there was a launch during my vacation and I had to just tackle it and get it done and that's what I did. So I have a lot of stuff to share with you. It's mostly stuff from Sephora, but I also ordered stuff from like the brand's website, like Urban Decay. I ordered from their website some items. So these are still things you can pick up at Sephora, but I may have ordered them from the actual brand website and speaking of Urban Decay let's just start there because we have a lot to go through and I'm I, I just cannot I grabbed the Urban Decay smoky palette and they smell smoky without the E I always spell it with the E but anyway this is the product that I ordered um, while I was on vacation I ordered it like 2 in the morning I was up anyway so I just went ahead and ordered it because it debuted on the Urban Decay website before it went live on Sephora, so I didn't I didn't know that I was gonna wait for Sephora to have it, but I just figured I'd just get it from Urban Decay, and it was here when I arrived from vacation, so it was a nice like welcome home gift or present. I bought it myself, so it wasn't really a gift. But anyway, you get what I'm gonna say. So you've probably seen this a million times by now. You're probably tired of seeing this, but it is. Urban Decay's newest Naked Palette, and you know they have three Naked Palettes already, one, two, and three, and then they have the Naked Basics Palette. They have two of those, so it's really like, what is that, sixth edition of the palette? Whatever. 
Um, it has smoky shades, and I did not like the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I got it mainly to do a review on my channel, and I don't even think I ever ended up doing a review. I did do a tutorial, but no review of it. But this guy, when I saw the promo images, I was like, uh, yes please. And I am not the biggest fan of Urban Decay palettes, because I, f I feel like they do far too shimmery, frosty shades. Too many frosty, shimmery shades. And I am not the biggest fan of frosty shimmery shades because I have oily skin and anything that shines and glows is just way too much for me. But this palette, I was all over. I was like, I need to get it. And the hype behind it, you know, typically I don't fall for the hype. This one I was about. And I have been using it. I've been dabbling in it because I want to do a review for you guys. And so far, I really like the palette. I really enjoy it. There are four matte shades, which I appreciate. Thank God they have four matte shades in here because typically they don't have matte shades. So a third of the palette is matte and then four more shade, shades are more of a satin finish. So it's not high shine frost. And then there are two shades that have that chunky glitter formula that they Urban Decay has that no one likes. And it has glit, just has glitter fallout all over your face. Causes glitter fallout all over your face. And... I'm actually wearing one of those shades today. This is Armor, which is this a taupey silver shade or like a slate shade. And I have it all over my lid and I do have like glittery fallouts. So I would advise tapping off your brush to use these shades, but it's still such a pretty color. I love silvery taupes. And then I have a little bit of Dagger, which is the deeper gray, sh like um, gunmetal gray shade there in the crease and I did do a tutorial for this look this is my five minute makeup challenge so I'm editing that as well so maybe that will go up first and then the haul next or I don't know we'll see how that works out but yeah so I grabbed the Urban Decay palette and then I'm just grabbing things out of the bag the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation I saw this at the makeup show in New York and I didn't grab it then but I probably should have and but I decided to grab it now and just go for it my original shade was 173 and they have the shade the the last like the original formula is discontinued it's no more but the shade number they have it like matched up in the new shade numbers because they use in new numbers now so 173 is equal to Y445 so it's 445 in case you're interested and the color is on the back of my hand and it's a nice um, fit for my skin even though I did get somewhat of a tan on my vacation. I didn't get too deep um, sunscreen but it's a good match. It's a very sheer coverage so that makes sense for HD uh, videos and recording because you don't want to see it. It's invisible cover. You're not supposed to see the foundation. So I don't know how I feel about this. I do like lightweight foundation. I feel like this felt a little bit sticky when I tried it one time, but I only tried it one time. So I'm going to try it some more, obviously. And I also grabbed, and I'll just show you the other foundation, the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Full Cover Foundation Concentrate. And this is a concentrated version of their, I guess, their existing liquid foundation. I have the Genius Gel Foundation, just a gel version. I got the same shade, which is 82 Cocoa Light. That's my shade in the Genius Gel. And you get a little less product, but it's more concentrated. I haven't touched this. I haven't tried it. This one, I want to... Oh, what is this? Wait... It has a little extra... Wait, is it a... Don't tell me it's one of... What is it? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's one of those. I thought it was going to be a pump. But okay, we'll figure you out. But I'll do a review if you guys want to see that for this guy. And very interested. I also grabbed the... the yeah, so I dropped it. Yeah. But it's the, what is it called? The Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. And this one says it's Instantly Impeccable Skin Smooth and Makeup Maximizer. So, yeah. I grabbed that. It does smell like coconut and I really love it. It's lightweight. It's more of a liquidy primer. It's not really 
a silicone heavy primer like you don't feel silicone on your skin it's not slipping and sliding around so I wore that today I didn't feel like it extended my foundation but I like how it felt on my skin like it had a nice feeling it felt it didn't really smooth or minimize pores but it felt like it had clinging properties so it had my foundation clinging to it but didn't make it unblendable you know how some found um, primers they make your foundation cling to the skin but they make your foundation harder to blend this didn't so I'll also include that in the review and then I also grabbed the brush that goes with that it is the Marc Jacobs Space 3 brush and this is the buffer brush it's a little bit dirty Ooh, I like look I like oh my god that's such a cool effect anyway it's a stiff kind of buffing brush which I love for foundation and I wasn't gonna get this one because it's pricey Marc Jacobs brushes are pricey but I really have a good experience with them so I was like if I don't like it I'll just return it but it's really densely packed it's very soft like their other brushes and I made it got messy because I was rubbing it over my skin to feel how it feels buffing you know product on and so far I'm in love with just using with powder so I gotta use it with liquid to see how it works but I'm interested in that guy a lot speaking of brushes I got these because Demi Demi doll hey Demi she uh, messaged me on Twitter well she tweeted me real quick she was like hey girl guess who guess what Hakuhodo and Sephora Pro are doing a brush line hello yes she's like I need to know your thoughts what is going on so I didn't know about it until she told me so thank you Demi and I did go ahead and order four of the brushes there are five in total there's one more that's a smaller face brush but I only got four of them and they come in a really nice box it's a sleeve then you have like a red case and they're tucked in nice and secure the secure secure the presentation is very nice there are details on the brushes in on the little sleeve and the brushes are right here that I ordered so you have the name is not on it you have the Otsubu which is the large tear drop so I'll show you next to my face what that looks like so it's a teardrop size brush I mean style brush then you have the smaller teardrop so this one is called the Katsubu and that's comparison wise size wise and then you have which one is this this one is Lord this one is the Kusabi I'm butchering that I don't I know but that's this brush it's like a paddle brush but it has an angle and then the last one I have is the fan brush right Where's that box? Where'd it say? Otsubu. No, that's that's, that's not it. <laughs> the Uji. Uji? Uji. Fan cheek brush. Which I don't see any fan here. And I don't know. Like, and I told Demi, I'm like, I don't like these brushes. They're very pricey, as I expected them to be. But for the price I expected great quality from Hakuhodo I expected great quality from Sephora Pro I expected great quality but I, I'm just I just I know I just don't know they are soft they are very soft they're sent you see that ear all I drop out they're synthetic brushes they're not natural hair so fine I don't have a problem with that but I feel like they're so soft and silky it's almost like baby doll hair so it doesn't really pick up product and then they kind of flop around on my face and I just don't like the brushes maybe it's the style but I just and then you wash them and the bristles are all cock cockeyed or look at this one like why is the bristle all cock off to the side and I just I don't like them and they don't feel particularly luxurious like it's a nice design with a black and white and a red it's a nice design I just feel like for the price this is just not doing it for me and I'm gonna return these because I just don't 
see myself using them. I have brushes that I prefer over these. And they're not the hot, like, to me, they're not really built for tough. They're not the best quality brushes. So, if you want me to talk about them more, I can probably do that. But I'll probably do that in a review roundup. Yeah, I want to do a review roundup series where I just review a couple of products in one video. So I don't do one long review on one product. Right? Next thing I got is the Beauty Blender. What is it called? Blotter Rots. What? Blotter Rossi. Okay, so like paparazzi. Blotter Rossi. Okay. And these are the flat blotting sponges from Beauty Blender. And there are two of them in here. And it comes in an aerated little compact with a mirror. And I saw this and I was interested in it because I'm like, that's perfect to have a sponge on the go, but it's meant for blotting. Is that what it says? A game change in washable and reusable alternative to blotting papers. So it's supposed to be an alternative to blotting papers. It does not blot up any oil. No. It does nothing more than a tissue would. In fact, a tissue does better. So I use a tissue regardless. But it's nice that I have a compact that I can travel with and use with my powder products. You get what I'm saying? So I can use it to apply over my skin because I love to use um, sponges to press powder into my oily areas, especially in the summertime when it's doing the most. Oh, wow. I like having um, sponges and these are great because they're easy to wash. I always wash sponges anyway, but this, because it's a beauty blender, situation the beauty blender sponge it's or material it's easier to wash so this is going to be a great travel friendly sponge not that i would use it for blotting which is what they intended it to be but no it ain't blotting nothing it is blotting nothing you know i was gonna get it it's the jacqueline hill and becca shimmer and skin perfector this is the collaboration with jacqueline hill Jacqueline Hill here on YouTube. Everybody's gushing about this. Everybody's trying to get their hands on it. It's like the, the next best thing in highlighter world. And it's a very pale, peachy, shimmery, gold champagne um, highlight product. And I like it, but it's not my favorite shade from the lineup I think opal is better for me I love opal and it's pretty it's pretty but I feel like I don't know like I feel like it's not as creamy as the others for some reason but it's a very pretty shade and I know a lot of people love it and you can blend it over your skin and get a nice glow as a darker skin person I'm like I'd say I'm a medium deep tan <laughs> that said nothing but it's a nice glow. It's not ashy, but in the, I don't know, like on my skin, I feel like it flashes a little bit silver, which can come off too ashy. So I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. Like I have to play with it a little bit more. Maybe I should put it on now. Let me put on a little bit of it. Let's see. Cause I don't have, okay. That was too much. That is just way too much. <laughs> Do you see me right now? Where am I going? Let's blend that. I feel like because I have oily skin and I do have like texture issues with pores right here and then hair, fine hair on my skin, I feel like it accentuates my texture and it comes off a little bit too intense. But it's a nice, you see what I mean? You can kind of see it on my skin. I mean, I used a lot, obviously. I know, I know. But... I just don't like that I can see it on my skin. I like when my highlight kind of blends in and it just looks like a glow rather than, hey, here's my highlight, here's my highlight. I don't know, I gotta play with that some more. That'll probably be in my review roundup. I also grabbed the Clinique Acne Solutions BB Cream. Makeup by Tiffany D has been raving about this and I did grab it before and I returned it because I just didn't like it. And I grabbed it again because I have um, a tan now so I can use the deep shade because the medium shade is just now. Not for me, 
But the deep shade, I'm going to use it, and it does have an SPF 40, and it's a liquid, so it's lightweight, and I like a lightweight... Lord, it dripping out of bug. It's lightweight um, for the summertime. And that's what it looks like. On It's very watery, very liquidy, and I like liquidy products. You can't see it on my skin, but I like liquidy products, so... I'm going to try it again and see if my mind changes about it. If not, I can always return it. And the active ingredients are sunscreen. So you can use, this is for sunscreen protection. Keeping along the lines of foundation, I also grabbed the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Water. Again, I love liquidy, like, water re foundations. And this is the shade Medium Dark. And it's a liquid primer water. And you know I love my primer water from Smashbox. So this is, again, the only thing I don't like about these liquidy foundations or these runny foundations is that they always have one of these, a, a version of this dropper thing. I hate that crap. Anyway, so again, in the summer months, this should be an interesting find since it does have SPF. It's more lightweight, so I'm interested in trying this guy out. Keeping with the sunscreen theme, I got this from Paula's Choice because I am big on sun protection. I had to use a lot of sun protection on vacation. And I really like the spray sunscreen, but I don't like using it on my face, so I still had to use a liquid sunscreen on my face. But I find that a spray sunscreen is so much easier for reapplication and everything. It's quick, it's easy. And I did have my spray sunscreen from, where is it? Um, I don't have it right here. But I did have my little spray sunscreen. I had it in a haul. And I use that to reapply throughout the day. But this one is from Paula's Choice. It's Sun Care Broad Spectrum SPF 43, which is an odd freaking number, 43. Sunscreen spray for all skin types is fast, dry and formula, easily covers hard to reach areas. And it has a lot of sunscreen in it. But I just got this to oh I just got this today. The spray seems okay, but it's like leaking and it's like it feels oily and I'm like, is it is it gonna be oily like this? Because this means I can't spray it on my skin. Um, like daily, like I can't reapply that if it's going to be this greasy looking. I can apply it under my foundation, but if it's going to be oily like that, mm -mm. do you see me already shining? I am strobing for no reason. I am, this is oil. This is grease. This is not me trying to do something. <laughs> I'm not doing the most. I'm not even trying. I grabbed two of their Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I have the shade... Cream, creme caramel, cream or creme caramel, and toffee, which is shade 14 and 13. And I didn't know, I tried to find these in store so I could figure out the best shade to get, but I just went off the website in the color descriptions and grabbed these two shades. La, this is a plastic, yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Again, I got the shade. <laughs> Cream Caramel and Toffee and I think these shades are actually going to be great. I think the Toffee shade is going to match my skin tone. Yeah, and then the Cream Caramel is going to be more of a brightening shade and they're very, oh, they're very liquidy, lightweight. Oh, the coverage is nice. The pigment is nice. Like, oh my, these feet. Okay, uh, Sephora, people sleep on Sephora's products but like their actual collection. Hello. You disappointed me with the brushes with Hakuhoto, but those concealers, oh, they feel so good. I can't wait. I can't wait. All right. Exciting, exciting thing. I got Kat Von D's new Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. They got some new shades in. I'm all about it because Kat Von D makes my favorite liquid lipstick formula. I got this shade Noble which is one of their new nudes, new nudes. It's like a really pale, I think this is probably close to um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood. It's like a peachy, creamy, light nude. You, yeah, that's creamy and light. I'm gonna do a video for these as well. I got the shade Aisha. Aisha? Let me find out, Kat Von D knows some black girls. <laughs> Aisha. 
which is that pale lavender. I will come up close so you can see these in a bit. And this is the shade, what shade is this? Exorcism, which is a purpley deep berry. Oh, I love Kat Von D's liquid lipsticks. They are so good. Okay. And this shade here is Double Dare, which is another nude, but it's more of a pinky nude. I'll swatch that up top. Uh, I wore this one already. The Double Dare. That's that one there. They're so freaking pretty. Oh my god, they're so pretty. And I got Requiem. 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 Quimmy? Quimmy? Quim? Whatever. I don't know where she gets it. What is this? This is like an ultra pale pastel light. Like, it's almost like an ashy baby pink. Yeah, that's a mixer. Because <laughs> that will be a mixer. But I like that it's like a creamy pink nude. I can use that for an ombre. Oh my shit, my gets a lot of mercy. Enough, my gets. I got a lot apparently I got bow and arrow another nude which I had to get all the nudes and this is like the perfect nude for my skin tone love that you can't even you see it's like the perfect oh god this one is bow and arrow and let me show you the nudes stop let me show you the nudes next to each other so which which one where is it go? where did it go this one this, no this one okay so this is noble this is bow and arrow in the middle and then this one is lolita from the existing colors so that's lolita and then this one is double dare so you see those four shades those are the four nudes and then i got susperia susperia Sus susperia 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 which is a berry tone this one reminds me of, what was that other shade that she changed the name of? It's now, no, this reminds me more of LUV. Yeah, let me grab LUV. So this is LUV. This is Mouse, which I think they changed it to Bauhau. And then this is Susperia, that's the new shade. So you see, it looks closer to LUV but it's a little bit more of a toned down version. They look very similar, but they're more it's more of a toned down version. Can you even tell which is which? This is LUV and this is Susperia. So, if you love the LUV which I do, then this is a good shade to get. And then the last shade I got is Echo which is the blue the blue one. I just got it because I had to. Like why wouldn't I, right? This is the bluish tone. And it's more of a deep blue-purple. It's very pretty. I like this shade. It's, it's almost a word of a blue. It's so pretty. So those are the shades on the back of my hand. Again, these are so pretty. That one is like a mixer, but this is this really good nude. What is that? Bow and arrow? Oh my god. Oh my god. And I know you guys are going to ask for a review for these. And I can probably just do a swatch video because I think the formula is still relatively the same. But I'll test them out just in case something is off. Or, you know, one of the shades just don't work out. But oh, I love the Kat Von D um, liquid lipstick formula. Keeping with liquid lipstick, I went ahead and got two shades from Anastasia Beverly Hills. She released... Um, new shades of their liquid lipsticks as well. Not my favorite formula, but I do like it enough or I'm okay with it enough where if I see a special shade, I'll get a special shade. But if there's a shade in like the... There are other shades that are similar to the Kat Von D ones and I was just like, nah, I'll stick to the Kat Von D. But if I have like unique shades, I'll grab them. This is the Paint, the blue one, and Sepia which is the grayish nude, and everybody's going wild about sepia, right? Everybody's doing this taupey, gray-toned nude, and that's that right there. And I feel like this is going to look 
a little troublesome on my skin tone because I have the serious yellow, 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 I'm yellow, I have the, the yellow undertone so I feel like it might be, mm, it might look a little bit like death because it's a little bit gray toned, it might look a little bit like death but the, there's a MAC lipstick that came out, one of the new mattes, which one was it? Ugh, I don't remember but yeah oh my god paint is freaking pretty and it has slight shimmer through it it's not a complete matte for you the p oh paint oh can you imagine doing an ombre with these shut your mouth rat shut up I can't ah! okay I woo, did the most just now but I can't, I can't with my life. Oh, this is so pretty. And you can really see how purple toned Echo is compared to paint. Paint is like a serious pretty ass blue. Listen, that is so friggin' pretty, I can't. Did I even zoom in and show you that? No, I did not. Was it okay for you to see it like that? I, I'm trying to get through this video. Lips, keeping with lips, I grabbed an Urban Decay Matte Revolution lipstick. Sticking with my nudes, I'm a nude girl. I find myself wearing more nudes than anything else, so I grabbed one of their matte revolutions. It's the Revolution formula, but they're matte. And I feel like companies are claiming matte these days, but they're not really matte. They're like a cream, but they're claiming matte because people love matte, so they're like, <laughs> let's tell them it's matte, but it's not truly matte. It's not like a true matte, but you know, they'll say it's comfortable matte, but it's not. It's just cream. So this is Stark Naked and I needed to get this because it's a freaking pretty nude. It's a little bit light though. It's like a light peachy nude. You know what? Let me swatch the other, the, the two lipsticks and show you that as well as the, what is this? The Anastasia ones because I, I, I feel like you guys are going to be mad if I don't show you them up close, right? You're going to be mad? I think you are. So again, that's Stark Naked from Urban Decay. It's like a peachy light nude. I like that. That will need a lip liner and some mix-in. Do you love my nude nails? Can you stand me right now? This is a nails ink color. I post, I'll post what color it is um, in the description. That's the paint and the sepia. So, yeah. I also grabbed from Anastasia the lip primer because I feel like their formula needs some. It needs a little extra. So I said, let me grab the primer and I don't really, I'm not big on lip primers, but I figured I'd give this one a shot. I'll let you know what I think. And then, oh, exciting, exciting. Shut the front door right now. So Charlotte Tilbury has their, her Film Star Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight Palette for light skin. I never was interested because I knew it wouldn't even be for me because it just not, no, she wasn't catering for me at that point. But she came out, oh, the packaging's beautiful, like everybody says. But she came out with a dark girl friendly version. Eee! So it has a more champagne yellow, it's like an orangey champagne highlight, and then a sculpting powder so I cannot wait I'm gonna have to do this in a review roundup because I didn't take a picture of this I just got this and I want to take a picture so I can post it on my blog you guys understand the plight right but oh my god somebody uh, messaged me on Instagram and said she didn't she wasn't sure that mm, my mouth got watery just now <laughs> she wasn't sure how this orangey toned highlight would work but for darker skin like uh orange tone looks so beautiful on our skin you don't understand and this is gonna need a review oh my god i'm so into you oh <laughs> i went to stila and grabbed this is the stila perfectly poreless putty perfector perfectly poreless putty perfector and they have a couple of shades in this stila doesn't do well with shades for me but it's a putty kind of product, and that happened. Great, it just gonna, just gonna pop right out. Like, I get that your Play-Doh, it's like Play-Doh. It feels like Play-Doh, like, legit, this is the product. Like, that is the, and that's all you get, which is very little. And then you're supposed to, like, 
press it onto your skin and it's supposed to make your skin poreless. I got 10. You can see that is way too ashy on my skin tone. So this is being returned and I'm not going to get the darker shade. While I'm interested in figuring out if it works for me, I just feel like it doesn't contain anything. It's less than a half ounce. It's 0 .38 ounces and it's a little bit and the it already pops out. I'm just, I don't want to be bothered with the product so I'm just not going to even get the different shade in this I'm just gonna return that and just call it a day and we still got a ways to go so don't even think we going anywhere we have a ways to go I also grabbed the got inked cushion eyeliner and these are liquid eyeliner in the cushion form now you've been seeing the cushion foundations popping up all over the place it cosmetics has one Lancome has theirs and it's a, is it, it's an Asian thing. I don't know if it's Korean or Chinese. I think it's Korean that does that cushion product. And these are the same, does it leak? Is it gonna leak? No, oh, look at you. But it's a sponge in there and then they put liquid in the sponge and then you use a brush or whatever to get the liquid out. Do I have a brush? This is not a eyeliner brush. I do not have an eyeliner brush. It's like a liquid eyeliner so you line your eyes with your own brush and I think that's genius and I'm glad that Stila decided to go that route because sometimes I love liquid eyeliner but I hate the brushes on the stupid package and I don't want to be bothered with having to try to get maneuver the product out on my own brush so I'm glad that Stila did this I they apply really like a liquid eyeliner um, like the blue one needs a little layering to build up but the black one is really nice and the garnet one is really nice so I'm gonna test these out some more and tell you you know what I think about it then I'm st I still got stuff people I grabbed from Urban Decay as well I grabbed the some of the what are they called the diamond eyeshadows why don't they call them diamond eyeshadows they just call them eyeshadows but I got I told you that I like the Urban Decay ones. The Urban Decay ones has more product than the MAC versions, the Dazzle Shadows. And these have some really unique shades. Again, I can do a review video on these because I got quite a few shades. I was excited to get the shades. So I grabbed quite a few shades and I mean, look at, let me find, right, look at this one. This one is, you see, oh you see, oh my god, this is the Scorpio shade. This is the Zodiac shade. You can kind of tell, right? I don't even have to zoom in for you to see how pretty those are. I just, I can't, I cannot. And then I grabbed three of their eyeshadows. I grabbed, this one is Dive Bar. Their package, it's so hard to open this stupid stuff. This is Dive Bar and this is Fireball and I have a nude one that's called Interstellar. Interstellar? Interstellar. And I just grabbed a couple of those because I was like, they're new shades, let me try them out. I, I actually like their single eyeshadows better than their palette eyeshadows. And wrapping up, we're coming down to the end of it. Wow, I got a lot of crap. I got the Becca Mineral Blush in Hyacinth. I got three. I got Hyacinth, Latanya, and Songbird. And I love our Becca products. So, I wanted to try out their blushes. This one is the shade Hyacinth. Looks like they're really going to be good. So, I can't wait to try these out. Again, these will be in a review roundup. This is the shade Latanya. La Lantana. Lantana. Latanya. Who am I talking about? <laughs> Lantana. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful shade. And Songbird, which I thought was going to be lighter. Thank God it's not because I don't know what I would have done with it if it was. This is like a... See? Thank God it's not like super pale. But that one is like a shimmery... It's like orgasm for dark girls. So, can't wait to try these out. Oh my God, these are so pretty. That's Songbird. This one is Hyacinth, this pink one. And then the orangey one is Lantana, that's orangey one. 
And those are beautiful for darker skin. And then last up, but definitely not least, I got the Estee Lauder Pure Envy eyeshadows. These are the new ones, the defining eyeshadows. These can be used wet or dry. And there are different finishes to this. I got the Brilliant finish. And I got the shade, what is this? Vein Violet. I feel like these should be in a review roundup as well. Or a review for themselves. No, probably not because they're singles. I can do swatches. Let me just, I got, this one was Magnetic Rose. And then I have Infamous Orchid. And I'm probably not doing as many close-ups just because I'm trying to get through the products really quickly. This one is Ominous. And I also got the shade, the Envy shade. I'll try to find that in a second. This one is Ominous, which is more of a charcoal shade. So these are the shades I got. This one is Magnetic Rose. This one is, which one was that? It is Infamous Orchid, that purpley one. This one is Ominous. This one is the beautiful green shade that I was looking for. That is the shade. Lum Emerald Envy and that one is a luminous that one is so pretty and then this one is which one is that oh crap that one is brilliant vein violet they are a gorgeous gorgeous formula they're almost like a soft baked powder because you can use them wet or dry and they give off this brilliant sheen like I the one I fell in love with for real is Emerald Envy because it's such a rich, smoky, deep green shade, but then it has this bright, do you see like the green to it is really like intense. And I applied it on like damp skin after I wiped off the others, but you see that green flash? Oh my God, like it's such a brilliant, brilliant color. I really love it. So I'm thinking those deserve a review. So I have a lot of products to try out, a lot of products to review. I don't even know how I'm going to do it. Again, I'm going to try to do the review roundup. And that is it. That's it, right? That is it. <laughs> so, I think I have a lot of fun products here. Uh, again, I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do quick reviews for you guys because I know you guys are interested in reviews, but I want to keep my reviews a little bit more condensed so I can share more products with you. Cause Let me know what you guys want to see first. I have a feeling you guys want to see the liquid lipsticks first and maybe the blushes the bronze and glow which i gotta take pictures of and some of the foundations so let me know which ones you guys want to see first and which ones you want me to lump together to make it easier and yeah that was a whole freaking lot look at me i am so greasy and shiny do you see me i don't need to strobe this is strobing do you see me glowing for no reason right now i'm just all shiny and I'm okay with life. I'm okay with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will try to link as many of these below as possible. You know, so you can check them out yourselves. Let me know what you think. Anything that you're, you picked up or anything that you're interested in. Yeah, that's my review. Uh, my haul, not review, my haul video. So let me know what you guys want to see next. And I will talk to you soon. Love you guys so much. And yeah, bye-bye.